Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing a sketch and paint with me. So I'm going to be sketching out first and then adding a little bit of paint towards the end. For this video, I'm going to be using my Stillman and Burn Nova series sketchbook. This is new for me. I got it a little while back. I believe it was in one of my hauls, but I have not actually had a chance to use it yet. But I did purchase it, um, given that it was mixed media and it had beige colored paper. Um, I really wanted to try painting on beige paper. However, after receiving the book, I did notice that it says dry media, light washes, and ink. Um, so not necessarily painting like a normal painting on it. I, I think maybe you could. It's The paper is pretty thick and it definitely held up well for, for what I did here today, but um, I don't think it was actually meant for a full-on really wet painting. So while that discovery was slightly disappointing um the sketchbook itself did not disappoint um i actually really did like using it so still glad i have it just wasn't what i expected so it was an absolutely gorgeous day outside in the 50s and given that it's winter here I wanted to take advantage of the warmth and um, actually sit outside and sketch, so I did start this video outside. I will be inside later on when painting, but um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of enjoy the day. I love sketching and drawing outside, and it's been quite some time since I've been able to do that given the weather, so definitely wanted to take advantage of that. So you'll notice my camera angles are a little bit different here in the beginning. I am actually holding the camera trying to draw, um, so that's why everything is a little bit here and there. I was trying to get a few different angles and see what worked best, so hopefully this works for you guys. For this video, I wanted to do something a little different, so there is going to be quite a bit of sketching here. As you saw in the beginning, I am using a reference photo that I had found, um, just two flowers here, but again, I'm going to be sketching them out, shading them in with my pencil. I am using my Faber-Castell uh, Pit Matte Pencils and I'm going to be sketching this out and shading it in and then at the end I'm going to go in with my watercolors and add a little bit of color to the painting or to the sketch as well. In starting the sketch the first thing I did was draw out some really really light shapes, almost circles or ovals. I just tried to look at the flower as a whole on my reference photo and give it a whole shape that it would fit into and then recreate that shape onto the page to kind of use as a guide for me to make sure that my flowers stay within a certain proportion and get an idea for where they were going to sit on the page. From there, I picked a petal to start with because there was so many of them and I just started building the shapes of the petals off of that one to create the flower, seeing where each line started to where each line would end, and then I would just try to keep them as proportionate as I, as I could. So once I had these shapes in place, or the outline of these flowers in place, I then went on to shading in the shadows. As always, I hope you guys are getting inspired and drawing or painting along with me, creating something. And if you're not, I hope you are just relaxing and enjoying this video and maybe it will just inspire you to do something creative today.
I'm now coming in with my watercolors and adding just a hint of color to these flowers. I tried not to get too detailed um, with this and too much into shadows or anything like that just because I did have the shading from the pencils and I wanted that to show through a bit more. So I did add some color but tried to keep it more looking like a sketch than a painting. My plan for this was to add a little bit of green to the leaves and the stems as well. However, once I finished painting the flowers, I kind of like how it looked with the stems and the leaves that were still just a plain sketch with no color added. Um, so at the end, do comment and let me know what do you think. Should I have painted them green too, or do you like it better left as a sketch? I did leave it as a sketch thinking, if anything, I could go back and add more, but I haven't. I still like it this way, and I think it makes it look a little bit different. But tell me, what do you think? So I finished up by adding in just a little bit more color as you can see here and darkened a few areas a little bit. I just couldn't resist. But do let me know in the comments down below if you like it like this with just the pink in the flowers or if you think I should have added a little hint of green to the leaves and the stems as well. If you've made it this far into the video, I hope that means that you've enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit longer today, but um, I never know if I should cut them down or if I should leave them longer. I like longer videos because I really enjoy sharing the process with you guys. I just hope it keeps you guys entertained watching me draw so um, or watching me paint. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please feel free to like and subscribe because I would love to see you in the future. Bye!